welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla and today I have a small business haul for you guys. Hey guys, hello, welcome back to the channel. Like I said, my name is Kayla and I'm so glad that you guys are here, whether you are old or new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that I've accumulated over the last three or four months from different small businesses. A lot of them I found on Etsy, a couple of them I found on Instagram. I'm also going to show you guys one thing that I picked up from Poshmark because there's also a giveaway at the very end of this video and I actually bought something from a small business and also got something on Poshmark and then didn't realize that they were like almost identical. <laughs> so I figured because I had two of like the same dress basically, I would give one away to you guys. There are other things included in the giveaway as well, some other small business purchases because obviously the dresses are like a finite size so they won't work for everybody so I wanted to make sure there were some options for people who the dress might not fit but there were still other things that they could love if that makes sense um but yeah so I guess before we jump into this video don't forget to pause and go down below and hit that subscribe button it's totally free and I'll let you know when I upload new videos which is every single Wednesday and now without further ado let's just jump right in okay so I have everything sort of broken down into categories so I guess we'll start with the prints. So I picked up prints from two different shops. One is from The Cottage Fairy, who is a creator here on YouTube, and her videos are just transcendent from reality and just so beautiful, and I definitely recommend. I recently found out that she has decided to pursue art full-time, and when I found that out, I wanted to head over to her Etsy shop and see if there was anything from her shop that I would like to have it sort of in my life, and boy oh boy was there and I was actually just looking again yesterday and she has some beautiful floral prints that she just posted on her website as well so absolutely chef kiss do recommend so I picked up two things from her store the first thing I picked up was this cute little bookmark right here it just says may your life be full of blessings daydreams and a touch of whimsy and it has a cute little bunny just painting and then on the back there's another one with like a bunny on an umbrella and it says made with love by Paola and of course there's this beautiful little like silky satiny sort of ribbon at the very top in this lovely like blush pink color and I just thought that this bookmark was so so cute it's like laminated so it's super high quality and just feels really nice and I am an avid reader so I know I'm gonna use this for sure and I just really really love this I love bunnies a whole lot we have a family of bunnies that live in our backyard um, just like wild rabbits and so I just thought that was so cute and I was really excited to pick that up and then this is perhaps Perhaps my favorite thing in the whole entire haul is this cute little print here and this I think is called her mushroom child print and it is just adorable. I am actually going to try to cosplay this outfit here on the lovely girl sitting under this tree because I think I have the exact same outfit like all of the pieces minus the mushroom hat but I can easily make that. Um, so yeah this is just a, a girl, young lady, sitting under a tree that is also inhabited by a ton of woodland creatures, including a painting squirrel, which I absolutely love. This honestly reminds me so much of where I live. Um, I do live in like a rural county and I have a pretty large piece of property. I often am sitting under a tree <laughs> like this. And like I said, we have like a family of bunnies and there's a bunny right here living in our garden in our backyard. Now, of course, I don't like interact with those rabbits, like I don't pick them up or anything because they're wild and I don't want to like, you know, mess with their juju or whatever, but um, the little rabbit. Then also I recently just shared a really incredible encounter I had with a newborn baby deer over on my Instagram account. If you guys don't follow me over there, check me out over there. I'm constantly talking about just like all the random gardening things I'm doing, the animals that, the weird animal encounters that happen at this house are insane. Like my mom came across a bear the other day. <laughs> I've run into infant baby deer. Uh, we one time had a herd of cows drinking out of the little tiny, like when I say tiny, I mean like the pond is this big. Like it's a man-made pond inserted into our garden that has some fish in it. And <laughs> there was like a herd of cows just drinking the water out of the pond one time. And we have no idea where they came from, but they were there. So yeah, the weird things that happen at this house. But um, yeah, so there's a little curled up baby deer uh, a little tiny fox. Foxes are one of my favorite animals. And then this tiny little squirrel here. So yeah, really, really cute. Absolutely love this. And I think this is made with pencil or maybe watercolor, maybe a combination of the both, of the both, maybe a combination of the two, but I really, really love it. This is actually living on these two like floating shelves I have right over my desk. 
and it just works so so perfectly and i'm just really enjoying sort of injecting more personal little touches like this that are like more reflective of who i am in 2021 versus who i was in the past you know last year changed a lot for me and my perspective and like personality and just who I am changed a whole lot in the last year and I think that probably happened for a lot of other people as well doing a lot of introspective thinking and starting therapy again has been so good for healing um, so yeah just really being true to who I am and making my room feel more like the 25 year old woman I am today then I also picked up some postcards from actually one of your shops um, it randomly happened that I came across this shop that was selling dark academia themed postcards and it happened to be one of you guys totally coincidental yeah i picked these two up it was from a like mystery grab bag these were two for three dollars and i think i looked the other day and they were actually two for five dollars now which is also still really affordable for two postcards i just thought they were so beautiful and they're in this like lovely sort of greenish blue color and like an orangey color on this one and this one's a bit more cream they go really well together and i'm excited to get some frames to put these up on the shelf and then probably one on my bookshelf as well. Um, the shop was called Tiny Vines USA and I actually picked up two more of these postcards so whenever they come, they'll be included in the giveaway. I also realized I didn't tell you guys how much these cost. Like I said, these are from the Cottage Fairy. So the bookmark was $4.50 and the print here was only $6.25. That's insanely affordable. I 10 out of 10 recommend checking out the Cottage Fairies store. Okay, moving on, let's head into the candle category. I got two different types of candles. So as you guys might probably know, taper candles are coming back in fashion, like full swing. Everyone's using them in their decor. And I actually recently thrifted two vintage brass candlestick holders from a Goodwill. And I just absolutely was obsessed with them. So when I picked them up, I was like, well, now I have to get candles. So when thinking about how I wanted to approach the taper candle situation, I thought about a few things, color palette and clumsiness. <laughs> now, I don't intend on burning them, but if I do, I wanted to make sure like me, the embodiment of clumsy, was gonna like have the best shot of not burning my house down. So I got the shortest candlesticks. I don't know if that's like logical in any way, shape or form, but that was the place I landed. So yeah, I picked up these two tiny ones well they're not really that tiny i mean they're pretty decent size but they're smaller these are the smallest size that they had um and they're in this like lovely sort of creamy yellowy mustardy type of color and i just really really loved these i've been really wanting to add more autumnal colors into the color palette of my room um my therapist actually recommended because i kind of struggle with my mental health in the warmer months and sort of thrive in the colder months she recommended since fall is the best time of year for me and since color actually physically affects my mood that i inject a little bit more autumn into my room on a regular basis so i picked these up in a mustard yellowy color and i actually think that goes really well with the other colors in my room um, my room sort of has like a wood toned white pink and teal sort of color palette. So that really worked well. And I was able to just add like a bunch of different autumnal colors into the room. I'm sort of an eclectic maximalist type of person. So it really doesn't bother me having like a ton of different colors in my room. I actually really like how that looks. So I was happy to add these two little candlesticks in. So these are from Exotic Deals by Anne. And for the pair of them, it cost me $6.95 plus shipping. The other candle I picked up, I actually showed you guys a few weeks ago, I think when I did a what I realistically wear in a week video. And it's just this bubble candle. These have become so, so freaking popular over the last couple of months. I guess Instagram or TikTok, I don't know really how they became popular, but I get it because they're freaking cute. Now again, I don't intend on burning this, so it is just a pink bubble candle and it is unscented. Now I did pick one of these up for you guys as well. It also hasn't come in yet, um, but it is in a sage green color, which is so on trend at the moment. And because they were sold out of unscented, because I was gonna go for unscented, just because who knows with allergies and whatever, but because they were out of unscented, I did pick up the strawberry shortcake scent because I figured that was the safest bet. I myself am allergic to florals, and so I was thinking like, what are some things that like people aren't generally allergic to the scent of? And I was thinking maybe probably strawberry shortcake. Like I know you can be allergic to strawberries, but hopefully that will work for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is from the brand Wix and Waxwork. 
and it cost me $4.99 plus $4.90 shipping. So not too, too bad. It's a little expensive. It's like $10 for the little bubble candle, but really not that bad. And it's a small business, so you're supporting a small creator. So really happy with this. I love this color. It's just like a really lovely sort of pale blushy pink, which is one of my favorite shades of pink. Pink is my favorite color, in case y'all didn't know. So. I was happy to pick this up. I know I had previously said I didn't want to buy any candles this year, but I was actually thinking in my head, like more along the lines of like, you know, Bath and Body Works candles that I'm actually going to light. And since I really don't intend on lighting either of these and they're really just meant for decor purposes, I was okay with picking them up. So that was a, like not an issue for me, but yeah. So got those candles. Moving on to additional waxy things. I finally picked up one of these wax seal kits. Um, I've been wanting one of these for absolute ages. And then the other day I saw Jack Edwards doing a video where he like lived a dark academia life for a week or something like that. And he did some wax sealing of things. And I was like, I need to pick one of these up. Absolutely. I will say this was a bit on the pricier side. It costs $25.99 plus $2.60 shipping. And it also took a, a little while to get here as well. It took quite some time to the point where like I had forgotten I even ordered it kind of long. But um, this was also from an Etsy shop called Hugo DIY Accessories. It did come all the way from across the world. It came from China. So um, obviously that makes sense why it took so long to get here. But um, yeah, it's already kind of a mess because as I previously stated, human embodiment of clumsiness. But this is the wax seal kit. I thought it was so, so cute. So it comes with a little uh, tea light candle, three different shades of wax. So I have silver, gold, and red. You don't get to pick those. They sort of pick them for you. Um, it also comes with a wax seal of your choice. You get to pick the design. So I picked this little mountain scene because it matches really well with my Etsy shop. And then of course the little wax melting spoon. I think it's a spoon. So yeah, I thought this was so, so freaking cute. And I actually really loved the packaging as well on this one. So I was very excited to pick this up. I've been nonstop wax sealing everything. Like I've literally just been writing letters randomly to people just so I can use the wax sealing kit. And honestly, worth it. I've been really, really enjoying doing that. And just, I don't know, making things just seem more special and sort of like romanticizing things in like a healthy way. There's definitely like an extreme to romanticizing your life but just like sort of making things, the small things feel really special and fun and lovely. So yeah, I've been really enjoying using the wax sealing kit. The last accessory bit are these little coasters here. So these are just some amber glass coasters that I picked up from Mainly Simple Gifts, another Etsy shop. Um, so like I said, these are amber glass and they say Polish Women's Business and Professional Club, 1937 to 1987. And it's got a little crest, crest on the middle and it says 50th anniversary. I just thought these were so freaking cute. My family's actually Polish um, in heritage. And so I thought these were really fun. It was a cool way to sort of tie in my family heritage into some of the decor pieces in my room. I am not sure how these exist in the world. I don't know if these are like vintage and they picked them up or if they hand pour them into like vintage molds or if they're just new. I think they're new. And I wanna say they're pour poured into vintage molds, but I just don't know because there are a ton of different coasters that are shaped the exact same way in a bunch of different colors and with a bunch of different phrases and sayings on them. So I'm really not 100% sure but they feel vintage to me. So in my head, I'm just gonna tell myself that they're vintage. So yeah, I don't really know. So I, anyway, I really love these. I love the color. Amber glass is such a beautiful, like orangey, like reddish sort of toned glass. And I really, really love that color. Again, very autumnal. One of these actually did arrive broken, but I was able to reach out to the seller and they immediately responded and sent a new one in the mail for me. So that was really, really great. Um, super good customer service. So these cost $6 plus $4 in, in shipping. So it costs around $10 for the coasters, which is not that bad at all, but it comes in a set of five. So it's $2 a coaster. So not bad at all. Um, moving on to accessory bits. I picked up these earrings here. These are just some marigold textured ones or like a mustardy sort of color. I absolutely love these. These are from my friend, like my real life friend, Kelly Jane's shop. It's called Beowulf Earrings. She recently went out on her own and started doing this full time and I'm so freaking excited for her and can't wait to see what happens with her store. So I picked these up in her most recent collection. It's so exciting to watch her just like grow as an artist. I have I purchased pieces from so, so many of her collections at this point and I just feel like every time I buy a new pair, like they're just better and better quality and just 
prettier and more advanced and just yeah I love them more and more every time she comes out with new ones so these ones I thought were absolutely stunning like I said she used like a texture mat to create like this nice texture on these and I just think they're absolutely stunning like I really really love these earrings I also love this color It's one of my absolute favorite colors that mustardy color once again and I couldn't believe I didn't have a pair of earrings in this color yet so I picked these up and I was really, really excited for these. They were $25 and she does all free shipping. And then I actually had a $10 off coupon. So I was able to use that because I filled out a survey for her. So I got them for $15. The next thing I got is a bit extra and actually goes really well with my outfit today. So I'll just go ahead and put them on. Are these lovely little lacy gloves? So these are from a brand called Grace Fiber Art and they are just stunning. Now they were a bit on the pricier side. They were $16.99 plus $4.50 shipping for a total of $22.50. So like I said, a bit on the pricier side, but they're insanely beautiful. I had talked about the glove trend coming back around in the trends I wanna try in 2021. And I think in large part, this trend is coming back around because of Bridgerton and like the revival of period dramas. They're like, coming in strong everything from like Emma to Rebecca to um like Bridgerton to Little Women came out a couple of years ago um so yeah just like the period drama pieces are coming in like strong Enola Holmes as well yeah so I picked these gloves up they're so stunning and actually they're more beautiful in person than they were online online they looked like they were gonna be like a really bright pink which I did not want but I knew that I wore pink more than purple and the only two options I really wanted were either the pink or the purple ones. So I asked my parents and they were like, go for the pink, you'll wear them more. So I went for them and I was so happy that when they showed up, they looked more vintage and antiqued than they did online. Like they just looked very, very bright and like bubble gum online. Whereas these are very blush and they have like warm sort of brownish undertones. And then of course, when they're on your finger because they're mesh, like the color of your skin gives them like a really nice color as well. So I just think these are beautiful freaking gloves. My skin tone, I'm a very pale person. So like my skin tone is nearly the same <laughs> as the glove tone, I think. But anyway, really freaking love these. They're so cute. Um, they have a nice little mesh with like lacy bits, like floral detailing on them. And then the ruffles here. And this one has a tech little pad on it which I kind of find hilarious but yeah they fit really well really nice I have quite small hands so if you have bigger hands then I'm not sure that these would work for you I don't remember if I picked a size or not but either way really freaking love these they're one of my favorite things I've purchased in a long time also the inside is like nice and grippy there's like little grip dots um so you won't drop things because again clumsy AF uh next bits that I got are some aprons so fair warning the brown one is quite dirty um because i actually do use these as actual aprons and i do a lot of baking i absolutely love and adore baking but anyway so i picked up a couple of aprons so these are from stacy's kitchen decor and now i don't have the price for this one i didn't write it down but i think it was probably in the 10 to 15 dollar range um but this was advertised as sort of like a pinafore apron which it definitely works for that so it's made out of a really nice linen material. They definitely do need to be ironed because they get super freaking wrinkly. But this is in a really beautiful like creamy caramel sort of color. And they've got, this one has like the little inseam pockets, which is really, really nice. And it just ties up in the back. And this is the halter style version of an apron. I like this one a whole lot. It's super, super cute. And like I said, I think it was somewhere between like 10 to $15. That one just gives me all of the Little House on the Prairie vibes in the world. And then I picked up this one actually because I'm currently working on putting together an outfit to recreate the opening scene from Kiki's Delivery Service, the outfit that she's wearing. And I finally picked up the last piece when I got this apron. So this is just a pink apron and it's got like the cross back straps. I think that's probably kind of difficult to see, but they do cross over in the back, um, sort of like that. Um, and again, it's like a similar style, except for, like I said, it's a cross back strap instead of a halter top. This ties in the back. And instead of having the inseam pockets, it's got some exposed pockets in the front. This one's also a little bit on the shorter side 
compared to the other one. It still does come down quite like a long way. I think it comes down to like the knee. Um, so really, really nice. Also made of the same linen material. Now that one cost at $27.88, but I got it on sale for $19.52 plus tax, which brought it up to $20.70. So really not too bad for a handmade apron. Literally cannot complain. That's like very affordable, at least in my opinion. Now moving on to the last things from small businesses. So I have this massive hanger here where I keep all of my detachable collars because I really do wear them quite a lot. Um, and so my most recent purchase from Magnus Clothing Company, which is my favorite detachable collar brand, is this one here. So it's just this really beautiful one that sort of looks like your, gr your grandma's doily, but it's so, so freaking beautiful. It's this very intricate sort of lacy um, embroidered pattern, and it's just the most stunning pastels you've ever seen pastel green, pastel blue, like a peachy pastel pink, and then whites. And I just thought it was so, so darling. And I also loved that the very ends, there's these tiny little embroidered leaves at the end of the string that ties up around your neck. I thought this was so freaking cute. Like I said, I got this from Magnus Clothing Company. It was on the more expensive side. This was $35, which is quite pricey. Um, I think it might be the most expensive thing in the haul, but I did actually have a coupon, so I did get it on sale. Um, because if you review their items, you get a coupon code, so that's really nice. I figured I'd show you some of the other colors I picked up from Magnus, even though I've had them for quite some time now. But I think most, if not all of these, are still available, so I figured I'd show them to you nonetheless. So this one here is just like a little cute Harry Potter one. It's just white and it says always nice and simple, but a really cool way to add a little hit of Harry Potter in any type of outfit. This isn't my favorite style of collar. I now own quite a few of these, but um, it's not my favorite style of collar because I feel as if I have to usually put a safety pin on underneath to sort of keep it in place otherwise it will move and maneuver around so that's something to keep in mind but this other style of collar I really really like so this has makeup on it so bear with me but this one is probably my favorite one that I own this is the mushroom garden looking one so again it's from Magnus this is in the one size um, standard and then she also has her collars come in plus sizes too which is really really great um, so yeah this has just like a cute little turset of mushrooms with some florally bits and bobs and some greenery and it's got just this lovely rounded Peter Pan collar with the lacy detail and a long back bib as well. Now I really like this one because it has the elastic under strap so it keeps it nice and in place and this one's got just a plain button up in the front and yeah this is definitely my favorite style of collar so I recommend this style if you're gonna get detachable collars for sure. On the same blank, I have this one here. It's got tiny little foxes on it, which is the first one that I picked up from Magnus Collars. Out of all of the collars, this was the first one I bought. Um, absolutely love this one too. Like I said earlier, foxes are one of my favorite animals. Foxes, fawns, um, bunnies, and puppies. Those are the animals that I favor the most. <laughs> So yeah, same blank with the rounded Peter Pan collar and the ruffle. Super cute, really, really love this. I will say she did change the way she does her, um, like this part, the decals. So this one is a bit more raised and feels a bit more textured. And this one is in, is like the ink pressed into the fabric instead. She explained it on her Instagram. I don't know if she maybe has it on like a highlight, but I'll make sure to leave all of the information down below, but they're different. And this one, the mushroom one, feels a bit more high quality to me. Um, and that one is a newer one. I think I picked it up over the fall season. And then the last one I picked up is this one here. So this again has the elastic under the arm and like the longer um, bib, I'm gonna call it, part in the front. And this one just ties up in a little knot in the front and or a bow and I just thought this was really cute. And it looks like you've got one of those like fancy shirts that you wear underneath something on. And yeah, really big fan of this one, super cute, just nice and black and white polka dots. Okay, now moving on to the one Poshmark item I wanna share with you guys. So I picked up this dress on Poshmark. The seller was named Jessica Peacock. I got this for $11, really not bad at all. And it's just this really lovely, like, ankle length. It's I would say it's a maxi dress for sure. Um, peach colored tear prairie dress and it's so freaking cute it's from the a new day brand in a size large it came brand new with tags and I absolutely loved it I got it for $11 and I'm absolutely obsessed with this and clearly I was so obsessed with it that I accidentally ordered a very similar dress 
literally within a week of each other. Like that's how absent-minded I can be sometimes. <laughs> and I want to give that one away to you guys. So this one here is the one I'll be giving away to you. Um, it is just this lovely, it's a different color. It's like a more purpley pink than the other one, which is like a more warm pink. But this is so freaking lovely. This is brand new with tags. It's from the Universal Threads brand in a size medium. I got this from the small business called Average Hippie Co. Um, I actually follow Faith, the owner who lives in Ohio on Instagram. And she is just absolutely the sweetest, most darling person. Um, and so I ordered this dress to support her small business. She actually just opened up a storefront in Ohio too, which is really exciting and cool. Um, so this one's got pockets. It's got like a, I don't really know how to describe it, but like sort of a linen-y sort of sweatery type of material. Um, it doesn't feel super heavy though, and I can like actually see through it, so it's clearly not like that heavy. Um, but it's just super cute. It's got like the ruffle at the end. It's got the tears. Like they're just so similar. It doesn't make sense for me to have two pink tiered dresses. And I just thought that the detail with the ruffling is so pretty. So I'll be giving this away to you guys. And then some of the other bits, like I said, I picked up two more of these postcards that will hopefully come really soon here um, to include. And also the sage green strawberry shortcake candle, which will also hopefully come. Then I wanted to include some things from my small business, because as you guys probably know, if you've been around for a while, um, I have my own small business where I make hair accessories and jewelry. So I grabbed a few things from my office and wanted to give them away to you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna give to you guys is this little stug pack. This is from the Bridgerton collection that came out not too long ago. It didn't come out all that long ago, but I absolutely freaking am obsessed with these. Like I said, this is the stud pack. So there are three pairs of earrings in here. These are like the lady whistle down ones. These ones are these teal ones with a lace print and brought like embossed on them. And then these are just little flowers with the dangly um, teal bits on them. These are inspired by the queen's dress in one of the scenes. So really, really loved these. And so we'll include those in the giveaway. Also these ones, which are arguably one of my favorite pairs of earrings I've ever made. These are the Daphne earrings and they're based on one of Daphne's dresses. They're just a really beautiful blue color with some sparkle in them. And then there are just some pink and white little roses. Um, if earrings don't work for you and like, say you don't have your ears pierced, um, just let me know and I can switch those out for a different piece of jewelry I have necklaces and bracelets as well so if those don't work for you please just let me know for sure because um, i want you to have like things that you can actually wear <laughs> also other things i am including this just nice little white headband it's a nice basic but it's also got some nice detailing on it there's some really beautiful embroidery and um, like eyelet details on this fabric it's a nice soft cotton i'm also going to include this cute little hair ribbon that reminds me of Belle from beauty and the beast is literally so cute one of my favorite patterns i've ever made anything out of it's this really lovely fake lace print on this just straight up cotton material with pink flowers absolutely love it and then lastly this cute little bandana here i love making these these are actually interchangeable so it slides right off of the headband if you can see and then you can switch it out for a different one i have several different styles of these over on my shop so thought this was super cute and nice and cottage core. So that's everything included in the giveaway. As for the rules, the giveaway is open to anyone who lives in the United States and is over the age of 18. Um, so you have to be a legal adult or you have to have parental permission. Um, so please make sure you ask permission if you're under 18. You also have to be subscribed to the channel and you can go ahead and comment down below and tell me what your favorite thing that I picked up was. For a bonus entry, you can follow me on Instagram where I'm super active. So honestly, if you're not following me over there anyway, you probably should. <laughs> okay, as I'm sitting here editing this, also I'm gonna need a way to contact you. So please go ahead and leave your Instagram handle in the comments so that I can come and DM you on Instagram. That's the easiest way to contact you guys because the figuring out like YouTube DMs, it used to be so much easier, the YouTube messaging app, it's not easy anymore at all. And I also don't have Twitter. So just leave your Instagram handle down below so I can reach out to you if you're the winner. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave all of the shops linked down below as well as all the additional information on the giveaway in the description box. So don't forget to check that out for some more deets on all the things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm so obsessed with everything I got. I think my favorite thing, like I said, is probably this print here, um, but also that wax sealing kit is 
pretty cool. Subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be kind to yourself and others. And I'll see you next week. Bye.